Yo, what's up guys? Cam here and today I'm in Denver, Colorado with my buddy Kindra Dixon, who's really dope. He's one of the speakers for Campus Speak, the agency that I just got signed to as well. And Kindra has a super cool story um, and we want to talk today about going through a period of transition. So Kindra, just quickly introduce yourself. Where can people find you and, and what are you all about? Well, real, real brief. Kindra Dixon is the name, KindraDixon.com. I was honored after about 10 years of selling to be put in the books as the number one sales exec for 2013. So I have a book, Universal Talk Laws, and now I teach and help anyone that's willing to grow and do a transformation like I did. And I respect Cam 100% much love to you. And for anyone listening, I'm just going to give you something that I believe helped change my life when I was 300 pounds, when I was a functional alcoholic, when I used to chase money instead of creating a vibration that attracted it to me and it goes with the acronym of BAT, B-A-T. So first things first, if you want to go through any type of transformation, you have to clearly understand the base of what you believe is actually possible. So I'm going to give you an example. There was a time when I stopped, before I stopped drinking, when I used to think that it was not possible for me to have fun and enjoy social events without drinking. So until I got to a point where I could change that base, there was no way for me to ever comfortably stop drinking. So, cause there were times when I tried to stop, but my base didn't change. So what would happen is I would stop, but because in my heart, I was like, this is not really possible. Instantly I would crack and get back into that world. So no matter what you're trying to stop, investigate your base understanding of whether you think it's even realistic to stop that situation. So then, Ooh, go ahead. So if someone's struggling to change their base, like how would they change their base? Wow, first, that goes to my next one. You have to look at your background of where that base started. And in my reality, I really, really understood. My mother didn't drink, but I talk about this in my play. From the time I was small until the time I stopped, I associated fun with alcohol. Because when I was small, it looked like everybody that was drinking <laughs> was having a bunch of fun. So when I started drinking, my entire goal was to have fun, but I didn't research what over drinking d could do to someone, and that's what I recommend. So right now, say your base is, you don't want to gain. You don't want to be promiscuous. You have to look back into where did those decisions start because that's where you're going to have your biggest transformation. Also, looking at the people that you got those traits from, look at the track record that their life has laid out because you could see, based off their track record, if you keep doing that, this is where you're going to go. So that's what I would recommend yeah. on how to find out what your base is and rewire it. The next thing, aware. Once you decide to change your base, understand your subconscious mind is going to trigger you to act the way you used to act before you made that transition. So your awareness level is going to have to go through the roof because you're going to be tempted by old associations. You're going to be tempted by triggers. Like when I used to go into a coffee shop, if it looked like a bar, I would feel like, oh my goodness, where's the Hennessy? So you want to be aware of your surroundings because you're going to get tempted to go back to that old base that you were trying to rewire. And then lastly, transformation time. In order to transfer your new base into your new awareness, you're gonna have to create a schedule. Something that you write down and that you stick to for a certain amount of time so that you can rewire your subconscious forcefully. Because if not, we all are creatures of habit. So in order for you to literally create that new world, you're gonna have to put some type of scheduling into place what you used to do when I used to go drink, I would now replace with gym time. That little trigger that used to get you, you now want to put something in it so that you can transform reality instead of, your, instead of letting your current reality transform you. So to sum it up, BAT, look at what your base emotions are, be aware of all your transitional thoughts as you go towards your new base and create a schedule where you transform and shape your reality because you are an infinite being that can create whatever you would like to create. Yeah, and for you guys, you're going through a big transition right now. You're closing one chapter where you were gaming and you're creating a new chapter where it's something beyond gaming. So awesome tips, I definitely recommend that. And Dixon, where can people find you? Wow, KindraDixon.com. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. 
at Dixon Kendra. I am now slowly but surely about to get more into the social media world. I've created an online training, a book, a play. So I've really been in these last two years in creation mode, but now due to people like this king right here, I'm about to infuse my platform with more social media. So bear with me as the transition continues. Yeah, and if you guys are in university and you want Kendra to come to your school, Check the links below because we both just got signed to Campus Speak and we'd love to come and speak. So hope that helps you guys out. If it does, make sure you guys hit thumbs up, make sure you guys hit subscribe and leave a comment, say what's up to Kindra and we'd love to talk to you. So hope you guys are having a great day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace. Peace to you.